Okay, guys, so let's do it. Let's see how we can search our station and find good concepts. So this is my R station. By the way, I've added, where is it? <laughs> I've clicked something. So I've added another bundle. I don't know if you know, I have bundles of my courses. This is the Pure F on top, but these are bundles. Uh, this is a Blender courses bundle. So all the courses that I've done with Blender are here in this bundle. Even the head anatomy course, but it's done with Blender, so it's here. But whatever. So how do we do it? Let's go to our station main and then trending. And when we go to trending, we can find something like uh, some 2D artist, like this one, for example. Let's click on it. So this is a relatively nice concept. You can do it for your portfolio. But we now are searching for a concept which is for mostly for speed work, just to practice our work from concept, something kind of simple, but that something that will look kind of nice. We can put it in our portfolio temporary, for example. And we open this artist uh, portfolio and look for it. For example, if you want to do something for a nice portfolio piece, which we will put time, a couple of weeks or months, you can check out this one, for example. I'm seeing a relatively nice uh, silhouette, we have a big sword, we have a lot of hair going this way. Uh, although the the legs, I don't like them, they are pretty like straightforward and I'm not completely sure. So this is not the best. I will tell you how I choose them. So now from this, we can go to likes. So uh, what this like, what this guy has liked. And he has liked uh, his own works. Obviously, he likes what he's doing, which is great. But in here we can see, uh, because this guy is having this particular style that we like, we will have, uh, in his likes, we will can find things that uh, can be nice for us also. So let's see something here. This one, for example, is looking pretty good. I'm clicking with my middle mouse button, which is the scroll wheel. I'm clicking, and then it opens it in another tab. So now I can... Uh, go back to this and find some other things that I uh, like on the thumbnails. So this one, I'm clicking and we will see them, all of them later. So he's liking his own works as we see. This one looks nice. But these are all for relatively for portfolio, for normal piece with which we can put a lot of time in it. What am I looking for in this kind of piece is a nice silhouette usually and uh, I never know if it will look perfectly I assume that I can do this and it will look nice but uh, I never know until I tried it and when I tried it when I see it from all sides and I see that it looks good not only from the side that the concept is on but from other sides so it's nice this one is pretty difficult there is no certain amount of uh, clarity for the legs you have to think it out yourself, which is also a nice thing, nice thing because it can um, it can push your artistic, you know, personality a little bit. So you can probably do it, but it's it's difficult with this uh, kind of a code, all these uh, folds and stuff. It will not be easy, easy stuff. This one also is pretty difficult because it's pretty realistic. If the concept is very nicely drawn then your model will have problems to look as good as the concept, at least. Uh, unless you do a very nice job with the model, very nice job with the folds, with overall silhouette, with the pose, with everything, and with the rendering. If you do that, then it will look fine. This is amazingly looking, and it probably will be super nice concept. I mean, the, it will be a super nice model at the end. If somebody can do it of course this hair i don't completely approve because i you know i don't like to do realistic hair and this one should be realistic if you make it uh, stylized it should be made very well stylized otherwise it will not look as good probably it could be made short here shorter up to her uh, shoulders probably but it's it's yeah so this one is nice i would like it and I will see what else we can find out from this particular artist. All of those artworks from this artist from South Korea are pretty nice. Mm, they are not something amazing and something very original, but they're very stable, very cool. And if you do something like this for your portfolio, 
uh, most likely it will do very good for your portfolio because those are common types of characters that you can find in video games and when you have something like this in your portfolio usually it will kind of push people to think that you can do something for them too that's why uh, doing something completely original some like a monster who which has never been seen yeah it's kind of tempting but usually it will lead to something which looks ab abominable abomination it will not look good and the other thing is that nobody that looks at your in your portfolio and sees some monsters or some things that are very original will say okay this is good for my game not nobody but most people will not so you have to be more commercial like like this guy or girl i'm not sure so if we go here on likes so what does this artist like we'll find other things so from from a guy to another guy we can go and there are amazing amazing arts in here you can of course check it out now i'm looking for something like a face a male face just to sculpt in front of you now i'm looking for a male face which is kind of um, hardcore so let's see this guy and hardcore i mean at a <clears throat> recently i have done many female sculpts this one is not particularly super nice those for portfolio but they are good for practice if you want to practice with female anatomy for example you can try to do each and every one of those and if they came up good if you kind of uh, if you kind of go and put more time into them and make them look as good as the concept then you can put them in your portfolio i think it will be nice of course you don't have to ask for permission from the author of the concept you just have to mention the author in your um, in your post in your portfolio that's of course a uh, normal thing just to mention the author to say yes i've done it from this one so if this artist this artist lee kim san lee kim sen from china if um, this artist has some male face but it doesn't uh, it's a very nice uh, style i like it very much so for example this one could be nice for a uh, for a course for example for me to do because many people are asking when we will do the samurai course when you will do something and this is samurai uh cyborg it has some kind of a you know hard surface armor and stuff uh, of course it's not you know when you see it it's not ultra sexy i can make it probably a little bit more sexy a little bit uh more uh, commercial if we say because now it's well drawn but it's a little bit awkward especially with this mask it's too much so yeah we have to be careful with all those things we have to monitor all those things into our heads so this one is nice but let's see what he likes so we are uh, going from a guy what he likes then to another guy or artist and what he likes and then to another and then to another and then we can jump uh, into eternity of course it's very nice because I'm saying of course a lot this time I'm uh, I noticed in my latest video in my other channel where I'm explaining how to open your mouth in a 3d character mouth in blender but it, you can do it in zbrush the same I'm saying of course too many times but of course it's okay so let's see this okay so <laughs> I don't recommend doing this most of those because those are kind of abominable a little bit but we can do some of those faces i like those faces let's see evgeny uh, from belgium evgeny Evstrati. see he is probably from uh, eastern europe or you know something like russia or ukraine but he's probably living in Be belgium that's why he's but his name is not exactly belgian but i like his concepts a lot those concepts are nice to do this one not particularly as especially the pose is not good uh, but uh, the face I liked, the weapons not so much. There are things that I like, things that I don't like. Let's see this one if it's good. This one is better. This one can make a good concept because it has nice proportions. It has everything is kind of good with this one. But it will be difficult because her head has a pose, smile, and uh, you know one arm is. Uh, you know robotic the other one is uh, normal uh, it, uh, it's gonna be difficult but of course it's a cool concept this one is a nice kind of samurai concept yeah i like it 
So, yeah, uh, we will find something from this guy probably to do. Most likely from those and to the bottom here, those concepts. So, which one can we do? Let's see, probably this guy. I like this guy with the mustaches here. It's fine. Let's check this out. So, I'm just uh, putting up my, uh, you know, pure ref. And then I, I'm just dragging the concept here. And I'm zooming in and now I'm ready to sculpt. And then I just have to go to my... Uh, Blender and start sculpting. It's very easy and nobody can say it's super hard. So uh, something I have to show you <laughs> this uh, This is a freelance that I got uh, This is of course a very very Beginning stage of whip. It's like uh, three or four hours in the sculpt and it will be something for 3d print Of course, he will he will hold something uh, like uh, very much more complicated. I'm just putting some uh, Let's say replay uh, I don't know how to say it. Something that to uh, that needs to be replaced afterwards. So yeah, base meshes. Just uh, putting them just to see the overall structure. Just a simple work in progress. I tried to do something here today, but I didn't think that this is worth it. Uh, let me show you. It was this one, and I don't completely approve how it came out, and I didn't think that it would be worth it. But I decided to show you how to search for your own concepts. Either for quick uh, practice, concept, your concept art skills, or working from concept skills, we may say, because concept art skills are something different. Or to find something to just do for your portfolio. Of course, I, of course, again, I, I hope I have inspired you to kind of search for nice concepts, because there are a lot of them, as you can see, just uh, millions. Uh, you can just choose your destiny, choose your poison, and just do it. And yeah, it will be not ultra easy, but it's never, never is super easy. Of course, for me, it's very easy, but um, not everything. But how many t hard times sh uh, w would I have to have until I get to this point? A lot of them. So don't think that will, it's, it was always easy for me to. It wasn't. Probably most of you can imagine. But of course, I will say it because in this occasion it will be completely in, in position to be said. I have always had pleasure working with 3D and uh, being kind of trying to be better and better. It's, it's just uh, what I like to do. It's something that uh, doesn't bother me at all. I mean, I don't... Um, I'm not like doing it and say, Oh, it's so hard, I don't want to do it anymore. No, I just uh, sculpt. I just practice anatomy skills, practice this, practice that. And I am super happy about it all the time. And that's probably your goal if you don't completely like the sculpting, if you don't completely like the 3D character art, if you are not happy while you do it, probably it's not exactly for you. Maybe you should find something else that, that make it, that's making you happy, you know? That's triggering your happy reflexes, we may say. Okay, uh, and yeah, now I will do a quick sculpture, this one. And we'll see if we'll do our station reviews today. Uh, of course, the Russians will always say, yeah, do the our station reviews. Don't be crazy. Do the our station reviews. Come on, Nico. Don't make us come there and kick your ass or something like this. Yeah, but I'm not sure I will do it. Uh, let's do this concept a little bit. Then we can browse a little bit more some our station. Uh, for nicer concepts or just to see what's happening uh, Even I can find something for me for some of my next courses. We'll see and uh, Of course as I said for courses of course for courses uh, You have to If you <laughs> if you're gonna do courses, that's what I mean you have to ask for permission the author of the concept usually because it's somehow something like uh, commercial stuff. So I think 
you better ask the author before. But for your own portfolio, you don't need to ask anybody. You just choose your destiny, do it, and then just just put the name of the author of the concept everywhere. And it will it will be fine. Because you know, usually, especially in artists who are not uh, god level, the better the concept the better the art will be. If you're god level, probably you can make a... Uh, you know... But if you're god level, you probably are not in this channel. You're not watching me. So, yeah. But if you are a god level, probably you can do it with a very low level concept. You can do something amazing. Which I have... Um, I have made, but not amazing. Uh, what I can do, since I'm not god level yet, <laughs> I can do... Uh, relatively nice model from relatively bad concept because I have a lot of experience a lot of uh, visual library I have in my head so I can kind of see what the author wanted to, to say wanted to to show even if he cannot draw it very well even even if even if you don't love me anymore. Okay, the, just the, the line between the lips is pretty straight. Then we have a kind of very pronounced upper lip. Yeah, I'm, I just uh, saw a little bit. I glanced into the chat and I saw a guy asking, uh, Nico, how do I practice? I'm showing you how you practice every stream. Open the program, start working. Now, of course, I showed you even more how to find a proper concept from which you can practice. Of course, of course, if you need to practice your anatomy skills, you have to collect some images into your Purev file. So make one Purev file, save it, and start putting there some anatomy stuff like arm anatomy, face anatomy, whatever you can find. Just put it, put the images inside this file, and at the end you will have a nice library from which you can practice. You say today I will practice doing the whole body. Let's do it and start doing it. Of course, every time. Of course, <laughs> I have to uh, disable this word somehow. Every time you practice you have to at least put some hour or two hours into into sculpting otherwise it will be kind of useless less than one hour to sit and work for less than one hour it's not really productive of course it <laughs> of course it will <laughs> probably be okay it it will not be ultra bad but it will not be ultra good either if you work for less than an hour. So try to work a little bit more, try to put more time into it, and you will probably be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's see the ears. They're not exactly perfect. So, ears, nobody wants to do them because they are behind. Everybody kind of likes to do face, but the face they think is just uh, the frontal part of the head but it's not i mean yes it is but uh, the head is not only the face that's what i mean it's not only the face the head is also the ears that's why we need to pay attention to the ears spend some time on the ears maybe many people think that if they spend some time on the ears they are kind of stealing time from their understanding of the face anatomy and the other things that are more important than the ear but when your ear is looking relatively bad you will not be able to convince anybody that you are a good face artist or head art head artist let's say the ear should look relatively good so yeah our guy is not exactly like the concept but we will do it 
yeah, when we have everything in place, we can look the con at the concept and just move some things according to it. So it looks a bit better. It's not about better. It, it, it's, it, it's looking better even if it's not uh, like the concept in this case, because it's a general or generic face, which is okay. Generic faces always, always can look relatively better, uh, nice, if you uh, have a little bit of knowledge about anatomy, face anatomy, and you can do it. Otherwise, you can try to replicate how the face is looking, but without the proper knowledge, you most likely will fail in some areas. Nobody likes to fail, right? So check out my course about Head Anatomy, you can find it in uh, some of the links in the description. By the way, yesterday I was uh, browsing into the options of PayPal and I found an option to donate, uh, to create a donation link. So I created a donation link, it's in the description of this video. And yeah. So because some people said, uh, Nico, where can you donate to you? It's. <laughs> It's uh, it's just on the link uh, of the PayPal link. But as I said, you just can buy some of my courses in our station, even if you don't want to watch them. If you want to donate, just buy the courses in our station. Most of the time in our station, if you buy the course, I will get like 90-95% of the sum of the money. So it's completely, completely fine. It's something like Patreon, but better, because it's not Patreon. I don't know, I, I don't have anything against Patreon, but probably they are taking some amounts of money, I'm not sure. So let me see what you guys think about me showing you how to, you know, to look for Concepts. Are you worried that it's difficult to look out for concepts? Let's see how much time has passed, by the way, until we started. 22 minutes, yes. Uh, this stream will be a little bit shorter, it probably will be around hour. So, hello from Uzbekistan, hello. Love you, bro, thank you, anime style, we don't have... Okay, black shirt, Nico, he's not messing around today. No, this is a dark blue t-shirt, if we have to be honest, so it's a blue t-shirt, technically. Find the curvy one, okay. Oh my god, Nico, you have 1967 notification. Check them sometimes. Oh yeah, those notifications in the R station, I know. Uh, it's gonna be hot anime girl to get much attention as possible. Probably. Namaste, brother Nico, is three from Barhat. Okay, good. Be by the way, how does fasting and not eating has been going for you? Your students want to be healthy as well. So it's a uh, it's very personal thing. So uh, I'm not saying that I will not tell you by saying it's personal by person by saying it's personal is how your body will react to fasting how your body will react to uh, exercise or everything is not everybody is the same so i will tell you how i did it so now i'm exercising not so much i'm doing some pull-ups in the morning i'm doing some push-ups in the evening it's not something ultra exercising but it's something that like, you can do at home or just uh, outside into the child's playground where you have a fitness equipment and we have in most uh, playgrounds around around our my block, <laughs> our my block, we have this kind of uh, you know push up things, so it's 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 fine. For the fasting, I'm eating a lot, but uh, relatively once a day. Now I will probably eat a couple of times a day. I have to close the door. Yeah, there is some kind of a current, a wind, and the door has opened. But the idea is that uh, I'm eating now, most days I'm eating just once a day. But very big meal, without sugar, without uh, like chocolate products, without waffles, without chocolates, whatever. I'm not eating those. I, what I'm eating is, for example, half uh, roasted chicken, but half of it, uh, with uh, two cucumbers, big ones, a couple of pieces of bread, and when I eat all of that, 
I eat uh, some nuts. And this is my food. I don't eat dessert. If there is something like fruit or something, uh, I will eat it. But these days we don't have anything like this at home. And uh, by the way, today we are going on a trip. So I will not be here next week. So don't expect a stream next week. Except if I kind of happen to... Because I will be with my laptop. So I can do it from my laptop. But the internet where I will go probably will not be the best. But we'll see. We'll see. If I have... Um, if I can, I can do some uh, basic stream. We'll see. But the idea is that fasting is going well. I uh, I dropped last week when I stopped the sugar. It was almost 10 days ago I dropped the sugar. Uh, now I am 3.5 kilograms lighter. Which probably is... Some, some of it is water, yes. But some of it is uh, kind of... Hopefully, it's fat. Some people are saying, and we don't know which one is right, that in the beginning when you fast, when you are hungry, uh, the body is starting to take muscles for fuel. But recently, people are starting to say that it's starting first, at first, to take fat. There are probably uh, different types of fat, and some of the fat is more accessible to the body, and it's starting to get this fat and translate it to muscles. Of course. I will say of course again, because everybody should know that their body can be different. For example, my wife, she cannot burn fat that well, and when she's uh, hungry, she's not burning fat. It's basically what it is, and she's just... Um, starting to feel very dizzy and uh, very bad. That's why she cannot do this fasting that well. She had, she has some problems with the thyroid glands or whatever glands it is. It's, uh, there are some issues and with these issues, if you have insulin resistant or these issues or metabolic syndrome or whatever, then those fasting things are not exactly uh, easy. And probably can be painful. I don't know if they are even good for you to do. If you have uh, some problems with the blood sugar, diabet diabetes. Although some people say that uh, fasting is very good for reversing type 2 diabetes. But of course, of course, we don't know that. And we cannot know because we haven't been... At me, at least. I don't know that. So, yeah. Everybody have to try to read more for their case. And probably should try it. At least for a little bit. Just to try fasting for 18 hours. Then if you can do it, try fasting for 24 hours. Then try fasting for more than that. But it's very important not to get too hungry. And... Um, not to get too hungry for a longer periods of time because the big problem is especially with diets people are getting a long time without eating or eating too low amounts you know because you see people are saying everybody is saying that if you take with food less calories or more uh, yeah, less calories than you are burning then you will lose weight which is basically true, but if you're doing that for a prolonged period of time, like more than a week, then your body will say, ah, okay, so we are in a, in a problem here, so I will dial down the metabolism, and your metabolism, your metabolism will slow down permanently. So next time you start eating normally, you will gain more weight than you had before. This is the yo-yo effect, as we all know. So, be careful with that. Don't be too hungry, too much. Fast. But don't fast. <laughs> fast slowly. Okay? Fast slowly. Yeah. You can be hungry for one day. You can be hungry for two days. But try then to eat a good amount of meal and... Uh, then not be hungry for a couple of days. Then be hungry again for a couple of days. Just make sure you don't, uh, you're not hungry for prolonged periods of time. 
and you probably will, will be okay. Of course, training, of course, training, exercise, walking, and good sleep. Good sleep. Many people are forgetting the good sleep. If you don't have a good night's sleep, usually you can gain weight. Gain weight. You can. Because you will be stressed. And the stress hormone is problematic for losing weight. The cortisol, which is the stress hormone, usually is promoting uh, gaining weight. So it's not the best thing in the book. Especially in the bigger doses. Let's see something else. Hi Lex Luther. Uh, yeah, hello. I haven't been to sleep yet. Probably won't uh, with the life on now. No, you will never sleep. Yeah. Did you see Gabriel Guerra's new model post? He finished the female witch from the interview he did. Ah, yes, I saw the the girl. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, yeah, I like it, but uh, I, some things are with the with the render. Probably it's too contrasty. I usually say that people are not putting contrast too much. He's putting a little bit too much. But uh, of course, he will learn at some point. Any updates about future courses? Not so much now. Placeholders, placeholder, exactly. Nico, of course, no, I don't know. Exactly. Of course, it's me. How do I practice Nico and very well hand or what the correct process is? Yeah, I told you already. First time in your life, missed so many already. Also, hi everyone. Don't worry if you miss the lives or miss every life ever because they are still here and you cannot talk when they are already you know you miss them you cannot speak in the chat but it's not mandatory you know you don't have to feel obligated to say something in the chat usually when i'm watching somebody live i rarely put something in the chat you know because people are chatting enough why should i you know chat Let's put the moustaches. By the way, the moustaches, I will put them, of course, with a, you know, a different mesh, which will be this one. And this one is, this is his moustaches. It doesn't look like moustaches that much. Maybe to some people, they will say, but Nico, this doesn't look quite like moustaches. Why do you say those are moustaches? Uh, because I think I can make it look like moustaches. At some point that's why and uh, trust me I'm an engineer also and I really am an engineer I have uh, you know a diploma of engineer design from Technical University here in Bulgaria so I am an engineer definitely but you shouldn't trust me because of that you probably should trust me because you know what I'm capable of Nico Luther, Lex Luther Nico. <laughs> Why Lex Luther? Because I'm uh, with bald head. I don't know what is happening here. And yeah, you see, fast and furious, we can make something like a relative beard. And he's still not looking perfectly like the concept. Because we still need to make adjustments, you know, just a little adjustments here and there. And he will look more and more like the concept. But looking perfectly like the concept is something that is difficult and it's time consuming. It's not for 20 minutes usually, except if I have lucky, if I have luck, sometimes I'm lucky and it just, you know, turns out very well from the start. But sometimes I'm not that lucky, that that lucky, and it doesn't. So this time it's uh, relatively cool, but not completely well. Let's flatten the lower eyelid. Okay. Ah, it's not ultra bad, I would say. I will inflate the lips so they look like two lips like this. <laughs> so I inflate the lips so they look like two lips. Two lips, you know. Two lips are those uh, lips, flowers. Flowers with lips. Flowers which have two 
lips are called tulips. Logically. Everybody knows that. Why am I saying that even? I don't know. Tulips. Let's make those a little bit blacker. Oops, not so much. Yes. This will be a nice color. And let's make the same color for the upper eyelid. Come on, man. Here above the eyelid. Maybe we can make something like this. It's it's not very nice to do the eyes exactly like I'm doing them now, but since this is just a practice run as most of our things here, uh, it's not a issue. It's not an issue. This is his hair line. All right, he's looking almost, but not completely like the concept. He will never look like the concept, I would say. Why am I saying that? Why am I so negative? By the way, if you are negative in your life, and I know negative people, my son is very, very much negative. He's always, when we when I say, let's go, let's go there in this uh, place. Oh, why should we go there? This is so bad. This is not good. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's do that. Why should we do that? This is so bad. This is not good. And you know, this is uh, super negativity. And uh, that will lead you to not very nice things. Usually, of course, I'm not, of course, I'm not super concerned about him. Because he probably will find his way at some point. I'm trying, of course. Of course. <laughs> I'm trying to... <laughs> To make him, you know, be more positive and think not so negative things. But, yeah, teenagers. You cannot do too much about it, of course. And this time I said, of course, absolutely with the right mind. He has something like a little beard here below, but I will do it just with color. Just with this particular color. And yeah, the lower lip, probably our lower lip is a little bit too round. And his lower lip is a bit flat. At least that's the impression that I get. So I will flatten it up a little bit. And yeah, the nose can have some... A little bit different things yeah it's relatively fine okay that's what I wanted to show you you can just find some concept online uh, you can do all of this for example you sit you do this one for an hour two hours three hours whatever then you skip to this one this one is not that good it it's it's not good I would say that I would not do that but this one is not bad you can do this one then you can no, this one is not good. Yeah, most of those are not. This one is fine. You can uh, learn some things about the nose and the lips and the cheekbone and everything. This one also can be nice. But, of co uh, but as you can see, uh, for example, this uh, where does he uh, where this this uh, forehead where where does it go? I mean, it goes up. And then it's like an angle here and goes back. It's it's um, it's a car caricature or something, and uh, yeah, not the ultra nice one. So let's see. Nico, your blocking head was really amazing. Thank you. This is uh, good. By the way, when people are saying good things about you or saying bad things about you, it shouldn't bother you. Both things shouldn't bother you that much. In a good or bad way. <clears throat> you should know your worth. And uh, by the way, today I bought this uh, waffle. This is a protein protein waffle. 20 protein grams protein per bar. And it's only 3 grams of sugar. Which is good. And it's also source of fiber, which I doubt about it. 
but it's still it's a nice uh, thing to eat sometimes but you have to be careful with those it has also artificial sweeteners i think because only three grams of sugar for this bar in in a it's a little bit too low and it's not for the bar for the bar itself how many grams it is let me see ah it's 60 grams so for 60 grams is even 1.8 grams of sugar which is great so less than two grams of sugar this one it has artificial sweeteners which are not the best thing you can eat so you have to be careful and eat those scraps a little bit you know not so much eat more vegetables eat more meat pure meat uh, salami and stuff like this also can be eaten i don't recommend them to be eaten that much maybe my channel will become at some point for health and fitness and uh, you know food because i'm very interested in those things since i'm 42 years old now almost and i uh, want to live kind of healthy life so i basically want to die healthy i don't want to die ill and sick and everything so that's why i'm trying to achieve here i noticed that when i stop the sugar i uh, i have problems with uh, with pooping a little bit it's a little bit more liquid but um, i will see that's what i'm saying it has to be seen it has to be tested and if at some point like uh, weeks a couple of weeks if they passed and everything is the same probably i will change something i will add a little bit of sugar maybe to see how it will work and i will adjust until i get healthy uh, feeding healthy uh, lifestyle with pleasure lifestyle kind of inter intertwined because you cannot live forever even if you eat the most healthy things ever you will not live much more than people who are eating uh, pretty much normally like crappy food mostly these days so uh, yeah basically if you are the same person is cloned and there are two of them one is eating very healthy the other one is eating normally not super unhealthy but normally probably one the the healthy one will outlive the other one for five years or even less i'm not sure it's just how i think it is probably is not that much maybe 10 years but probably not more it's looked like nico making self-portrait don't you want by the way I have made it, by the way, when I was uh, in a vacation this new year. When was the new year? I was in a vacation and I did a live in Discord, but it's not recorded. Where I watched myself in the mirror and did the did a self-portrait, kind of. I can make it uh, someday, why not? I probably can. Please, bro, shout out me, please, and good work, man. Shout out to Tyler. Yeah. I don't know why you should, you want to be shout outed. It's a little bit, um, you know, it's something about yourself. You're not feeling too good about yourself, by yourself. And that's why you want some external gratification, some external sources to gratify your 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 self-esteem and to pull it up which is normal for all of us i'm not saying that i am a guy who doesn't need some external sources for self-esteem for example when i'm walking down the street and i see a beautiful woman walking towards me and i kind of want to uh to meet her eyes you know to see that she's looking at me and to kind of notice that i'm noticed by her for example because she's so good and this will bump up my self-esteem for example it's uh, it's a good thing to realize that's happening and it's a good thing to kind of dial down because this means that you are expecting only external sources to bump up your self-esteem which is never a good thing you know for example external sources i mean mm, money good clothes usually people are uh, you know 
I want to have this kind of very nice clothes and I want to look good. I want to have a nice haircut and everything. Why? Because this will give you your self-esteem. You don't have it that much. And this will give it to you. And this way you will feel better. There is nothing wrong about it. This is normal. This is absolutely normal in our world. But uh, if you can kind of dial it down gradually and at the end feel very comfortable in your own skin, even if you go out in flip-flops, for example. And now in Bulgaria here in the morning is like 12 degrees, so it's not Celsius. It's not very warm, but I'm still going in shorts, t-shirt and flip-flops. And people sometimes are watching me like, for example, a beautiful woman is going towards me and she looked at me and then she looked at my flip-flops and she's like making this face and I'm like, you know, I don't care. I don't care. You shouldn't care that much uh, what other people are thinking. I'm not making anything that's uncomfortable for other people. I'm not making their life more miserable or more happy. I'm not in any way uh, or form. I'm not uh, involved in their way of happiness or not happiness. So I'm okay. If I'm driving a tank in the middle of the street and I'm uh, bumping into people and pushing, then probably it's not a good idea. But if I'm going out with flip-flops and I have a hole in my t-shirt, for example, uh, because I like this t-shirt a lot and I like wearing it, but it has a little hole in it, uh, it shouldn't bother you that much. It still bothers me a little bit though. So I'm not completely over that. Uh, you know, vanity, but uh, I'm trying, at least, at least I'm trying. I'm trying to uh, n be happy and be comfortable with what I am. And of, of course, I would say, of course, again, uh, uh, having a YouTube channel with uh, a lot of viewers and having uh, a lot of people kind of uh, praising me for mm, for my art or f this is not exactly art but yeah whatever it, it it helps it helps a lot and uh it's again external source so i'm not out of external sources but it's not immediate external source so i'm not i'm not um that much asking for people for gratification when i met them when i meet them i meet them with what i am I'm uh, smiling, I'm uh, confident, and then everything else is fine. And this is difficult, by the way, especially for people who are grown up in the communist environment, in communist times where we don't have any feelings. The feelings were not necessary, they are even forbidden. And uh, this way we are kind of crippled with from feelings. And feelings are very important in our lives. If we cannot express them somehow, if we cannot acknowledge our feelings, if we if we don't know our feelings, then we will do many strange things without knowing why are we doing those. If we don't know our fears, our phobias, we will always do strange stuff. Uh, but that's that's philosophical, you know. But I'm I'm noticing things more and more these days. Fasting made me lose 27 kilos in the last four months, starting to look like a heroin addict. Ooh, that's not exactly very nice. So you can just stop fasting probably and start eating more sugar. <laughs> if you eat sugar, you will definitely gain weight. That's especially if you eat a lot of it, but it will not be a healthy gain. Never. It's never is a healthy gain. What I, how I gained weight eating a lot of sugar was only in the belly area but it's not only outside and that's the real problem it's they they call it visceral fat or whatever it's the fat between the organs inside and this fat is making problems for some of the organs to function properly it's suffocating them a little bit and that's why it's very dangerous that's why i'm trying to kind of dial it down trying to get back into my previous shape my normal kilograms are around 97 and now I am 102 kilograms. 
So, 5 kilograms more. It's not too much, but it has to be from the right places. Yeah. What's your setting for sculpting millimeters or centimeters tanks? I don't know. Let's see. Because I don't use it that much uh, item. Meters. Uh, the normal, I think, in uh, Blender is for its meters. I think so. You, uh, Nico, did you visit Vietnam in 2017? I think it was around that time I visited Vietnam, yeah. I visited Vietnam in maybe 2017. I don't, I don't recall the year exactly. But I was in Vietnam, yeah. I was in Hanoi. I was in the drag, uh, Ha Long Bay. I was in uh, the middle of Vietnam. Uh, I was in the bottom of Vietnam. In the island. I don't recall the name of the island. But it was a very nice uh, tropical holiday island just below Cambodia. So it's Vietnam Island, but it's below Cambodia. It's very nice. And yeah, I was in Vietnam back in the days. I have a superhuman metabolism. Ooh, let's see the guy with the superhuman metabolism if we can find it again. Ooh, where is he? Where is he? The superhuman prop design. Ah. Superhuman Metabolism. This is Mario. Mario! Hello! Mario is, uh, I think it's Bulgarian. He have to say. I have a Superhuman Metabolism and cannot gain weight even on a 4000 calories evening every day, eating every day and cannot go too long fasting even though I want to. Uh, you don't need to. If you are young, when I was young, I, uh, up to my 30, uh, up to the age 35 around that time, I wasn't also gaining weight. I was eating whatever I want, however I want, and I was not, not getting, gaining weight. This is just a good metabolism. But after a certain age, you will start gaining weight a little bit easier by a little bit and then a little bit more. And yeah, I'll catch up with you. Trust also greetings from Wales. Okay. Will you try some prop design for game in the future or not? Not. <laughs> Hi, Nico, do you make animation and rigging? I wonder it. No. No. Young Lennon. Yeah, that, that's uh, probably him. Young Lennon. <laughs> Nico sculpting Nico double bass. Yeah, tulips. I'm using ZBrush just for Z remesher. I don't want to buy quad remesher. It's fine to import export. Well, that's a good idea, by the way. But ZBrush is. Yeah, you probably got it from Torrent, so it's fine. I would. I was about to say that ZBrush is kind of expensive, but yeah, I forgot. I'd smooth the cheekbones a little bit. Cool. Speed charts, uh, catchphrase, of course. It's not catchphrase, it's something like a parasite word that's kind of uh, hopping onto my mouth at some points. And it's not quite good. Since I'm sculpting, I'm using half of my brain to speak. That's why uh, I cannot avoid it sometimes. When I'm speaking, and deliberately speaking, and using all my brain to speak, then I'm not using this word that much, of course. Take a drink every time Nico says, of course, you will be dead in 10 minutes. Exactly. Will you try complex creature from scratch, from sketch? Yeah, sometime. I guess it's so fun and useful for learning animal or think anim anatomy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, probably I will. Please make the suggestion concept on Discord. Nico, love you. Uh, suggestion concept on Discord. Ah, some of the uh, suggestions that the people are putting. Yeah, suggestions for streams. Try again. Mes messages fail to load. You see, Discord today is making huge issues for me. I don't know why. Message failed to load. Uh, there was uh, just before the stream, I was announcing the stream in the Discord channel, and my messages were in red. And I said, why are my messages in red? And nobody is acting to the messages. So I say, what's happening? And it turns out that those messages were not sent. It's like uh, I was like blocked from Discord or something. I don't know. But probably at some point they will appear. They are not appearing right now, though. So it's, uh, I don't know what's happening. I have uh, op graphic card, overpowered graphic card for gaming. So yeah, I can go for Blender. Though I've used Maya ZBrush for in university. Maya is okay, ZBrush is perfectly fine. 
3D Max is not good these days, in my opinion. When you have Blender, you don't need 3D Max. At least that's my opinion. Of course, probably, of course. There is probably something that is in 3D Max that it's not in other pro in the other programs, but I cannot quite recall what it could be. Heineke, is it possible to send you a simple screenshot of my stylized base mesh for a game? I'm working on on. And I see if there is only, uh, anything obvious I need to fix. If yes, what site link do you prefer? Uh, you can send it in the Discord channel. Uh, in the Discord server, uh, just private message me and uh, probably I will see it. I will be a little bit busy after this stream because I have to pack up my bags and uh, help my wife to pack the bags of, of my daughter because we have to go in a just... Yeah, two hours and a half we have to go. Health with Nico, exactly. You will never die. Yeah, th those uh, videos will live on and will carry my life with them. And even when I die, they will still live on, probably. Early morning, everyone. No, here is like, uh, you know, 14.20. So, uh, 2 p.m. and 20 minutes. Hey, Nico, I got your course from Udemy with your link. And your rabbit will be my first sculpt. That's very nice. Either the rabbit, the horny guy, the horn guy, which is the zebra course, or the mouse. Yeah, many people first sculpt was the mouse, which is great. But the rabbit also is uh, pretty valid. The rabbit, I think it's a little bit more complicated than the mouse though, because it has more clothing, more folds on the clothes. And that's why. Nico wrote Tyler. Yeah, roasts. I don't roast anybody. I'm just saying things that probably are true. At least I think they are true, most of them. Maybe in a couple of years I will think other things to be true. But who knows? We are changing. Everybody has to change at some point. Heineke, do you make animation ringing? I wonder, no. He said, shout him out, not cook him. <laughs> My dude won't forget this day ever again. What are you talking about? It's not that bad. Nico, have you heard the recent problems with Blender sculpting module? No, I haven't. Hey Nico, you changed the camera. I can see th I can see the improvements in quality. No, it's not exactly changing the camera. It's just I changed my lighting. I just don't turn on this light, which is in this side here. I don't turn it on. And now uh, I have more um, contrast in my face. That's why it's looking probably a little bit better. And people are saying that I'm looking beautiful, which is, thank you. <laughs> Nobody's saying that. No, I think some people have said that, actually. How to improve on doing detail? You have to be a patient person, or at least you have to try to become one, because detailing is patient. Bottom lip is too full. Thank you. Uh, here, 30 degrees uh, temp temperature in Malaysia. I envy you a little bit. Try wearing Crocs. They say one will fall in love with those shoes. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Who needs a therapist when you have a Nico? That's true. That's true. That's absolutely, completely true. I cannot find where we are. Uh, love your philosophical part of uh, Nico. What you describe is a form of stoicism. I suggest reading Marcus Aurelius' book Meditation. Medi Meditations. Very interesting observation on human behavior and wisdom in there. Probably I should read more books about these things, yeah. My wife has bought me... Uh, so <laughs> today, they arrived some books about uh, uh, how to raise your kids and stuff like this, since probably she's not very happy about me. And that's why. Yeah, the one is the teenager, the teenager brain. Uh, how to survive uh, when you are uh, having a teenager, teenager in your home. How to speak... Um, in the way that teenager will listen, but this is or in Bulgarian. How to speak uh, this way that the, the child will listen. So this is for the younger child. And this is this book is the women who likes uh, who loves too much. So probably about uh, I don't know. These are yeah. This is most for women, but probably it will help me understand some women better her most likely that's why she bought me those books but i'm happy about it this is you know self-development and self-education is a good thing even if it's forced by by somebody else but i like that my wife is uh, a person that's uh, helping me to grow as a person 
as a professional even if you if you are your partner is somebody that's uh, not giving a fuck and not giving a shit about anything probably you will not grow too and even the way down is much easier you just slide down it's very easy but the way up it requires more patience it requires more suffering but it's much more rewarding and that's why i um i'm trying to grow you know i eat sugar a lot but i'm still skinny as fuck be careful with the sugar by the way you can be skinny with a a high level of cholesterol and the cholesterol itself is not exactly uh, something to be worried about but uh, the bad cholesterol along with the high level of triglyceride triglycerides <laughs> triglycerides it's difficult to say but i have that i have a high level of triglycerides with a high level of bad cholesterol which is a bad thing that's why th this is one of the reasons i am uh, lowering down sugar even if i'm not very fat as you can see, I'm not fat. I'm even, kinda, okay looking. But, high cholesterol with high level of uh, triglycerides, it's leading to a very high risk of some kind of a heart failure, or heart disease, or uh, cardiovascular disease, that they say. Heineken, I'm facing problems in finding good references for sculpting anatomy male body. Just go to our station and also uh, just search bodybuilders in Google images for bodybuilders or go to Pinterest and find uh, anat anatomical body and then you can just click and they will give you another suggestion and click just browse and just push things that you like into your uh, Pure file, then save it, and you are you're gonna start. Yeah, yeah. Everybody is Bulgarian in this chat now. You know, Mario is saying I'm Bulgarian. Flamart is saying me too. I'm Bulgarian. So a lot of Bulgarians. <laughs> Nico, are you only involved in sculpture modeling? Do you have work in other three D fields? Uh, what do you mean other three D fields? Not so much. I'm not uh, an, an animator. I'm mostly uh, sculpting, yes, that's what I like. But sometimes I'm modeling, which means I'm doing hard surface because I have to. Sometimes I'm retopologizing. Now, the, the file that I have for the blue alien that I showed you, let me show you the, the blue alien, by the way, file. Alien blue. It's um, 6 low. It's 1.5 gigabytes Blender file. It's pretty huge because I have to co combine hit body and arms and as you can see i did that i combined them hopefully it's not lagging too much the stream but i cannot turn it okay i turn it now it's 28 million triangles the whole thing and it's uh yeah i made the transition here and behind and everything is kind of ready and now i'm retopologizing the arm let's see it let's see how it looks and this is how the arm looks right now because I'm ready to apologize in by hand, you know. It's a meticulous process, but somebody has to do it, you know. And I'm doing it, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I have some triangles here and there, probably, hopefully, there will not be a big issue, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Dif it's difficult, but it's still rotating well and everything. If you have a relatively nice video card, as I said, my video card is 2080 Super, which is not the best video card right now. It's far from it, but it's it's good enough for uh, for things that we have to do. To be honest, you can sell that this as is to as is to miniature miniature painters as anatomic, anatomical busts they use them all the time for courses practice and so on that's a, not a bad idea if somebody wants to buy them i can sell them of course restart discord maybe i restarted a couple of times uh before i started the stream because i couldn't even get inside discord you know that was a huge issue but yeah okay i cannot find again the things hmm uh hey is cell shading works well with detailed anatomy 
probably i don't know you have to try it who made this concept i don't know but how you can find out if you don't know exactly who the author is you right click in the um, pure file you go to images selection because i have selected it and go to open source and then uh, it will open this and how to find who is this usually it will say here evgeny f strati yeah evgeny strati even if it doesn't say it you go to here and search image uh and yeah you have to find the whole image i don't know if it's search in search for in our station but no results so yeah here in the in the top if it's some kind of a chinese uh name with chinese symbols then probably it will be bad it will not show it to you but uh yeah you will get you will be okay problem <laughs> i didn't see you for a while yeah sometimes i'm hidden you know the way of superior man is a good book there are a lot of good books you cannot read them all but there it, you can have to start from somewhere i love squared face detail i also like them yeah i'm english i am not it's hard to find bodybuilder image from all angle yeah from all angle is difficult how do you keep the details when retopologizing uh just uh, you know putting the polygons where they have to be you know mm. nico you are so smart <laughs> thank you for your wise word about our fears and self-knowledge it's very important to talk about such things yeah i'm talking about those things i'm not giving you answers that much i'm just talking about those things but i don't have the answers for myself yet i also will share with you that i'm planning to go to a psychotherapist and not that i'm feeling something like um some problems or so I'm not, I'm not having any issues but i like to continue my self-exploration i think with the help of another person which is a professional can be better can be easier and uh, probably a couple of visits let's say 10 and then i will have probably guidance where to start where to go and how to what, what to read and what kind of a you know practices to do i don't know can you sculpt Pat patel williams the singer that sings get like i can sculpt everyone but uh it depends how much i'm paid you know <laughs> yeah uh there is a guy i told you there is, was a guy in our station victor so he was uh asking me can you do a head for me and i said okay but what kind of head he wanted just a regular head like this one but for an actor so a certain actor he's giving me some references he have a reference ref sheet he give me the ref sheet and say i want this actor and uh just a high poly sculpt uh, basic without anything else without hair and stuff and i'm doing this for like 50 dollars so because i can do it for two hours without too much of an issue so why shouldn't i and yeah that's what i'm saying it's it's easy but it's it's rare this kind of uh, nice fast work is kind of rare most people want you to do something more like this one which is a full-fledged model and as i as i told you this is just a just a preliminary phase just to see if everything is working together and then a lot of work after that a lot of work to refine everything, to make the beard better, to make the hair better, to make the arms much, much better, to make the overall clothes and all these things, everything, a lot of hours. And uh, those kind of works are fine. They are well paid. But uh, yeah, in, in this way, in, in this case, I like it because I will not have to do low poly, which is great. I will just keep it high poly uh and that's very nice for the blue alien case in the case of the blue alien i have to do the low poly but it's a little bit better paid that's why i'm doing uh, the low poly too and by paid i mean the money that I, that i have i have asked it's not about just uh they say uh this model this amount of money no they are giving me the model and ask how much and i say this amount 
And many people are asking, how do you form your prices? It's easy for everybody. It's a simple formula. You have to multiply, just multiply two things. First, your hourly rate. For example, you are a beginner artist. You are living in some kind of uh, country which is not uh, like United States or Canada. Your expensive expenses are not uh, super high. So you can say, I want $10 an hour. $10 an hour for some countries is very good uh, rate. So I say, I want $10 an hour. This model, they show you the concept. And you say, this concept I would do, you say it in your mind, I would do for 50 hours. So $10 an hour for 50 hours, I will do the high poly, the low poly, the UVs uh, and textures. I will do everything for 50 hours, which means that I have to ask for this concept, $500. For me, I'm living in a country which $10 an hour, uh, especially for this kind of work, is very low. F in my country, uh, $15 an hour is a good hourly rate for normal jobs. But for this specific job, it's, it's more. So uh, usually my rate is above $25 an hour, sometimes more. It depends on the work. And if I can do some work for like 30 or 40 hours, if it's 40 hours, $25 an hour, it will be $1,000, I think. Yes. So it's just uh, like this. It's very easy to calculate. So a beginner artist can ask for certain concept, $500. Experienced artist can ask for the same concept, double, $100. But that's just a difference. And also the difference of people, Ukrainian artists, for example, they are very good Ukrainian artists. He can ask for $12 an hour and his work can be very good. And for example, Canadian artist or United States artist can, can make a not so good work, but for $25 or $30 an hour. So it's, uh, it's about where you are, where you live, how good is your quality, and those things. How fast you are, probably. Love you so much. Why are you loving me so much? I don't understand. How can you love some guy, which is uh, just in the in the internet? You know, you find it. If you don't have internet, this guy disappears. He is not there, and then you are broken because this is the love of your life. I'm in the love of your life. And how can you live if the internet disappear? By the way, I was asking myself, uh, this is a joke, of course. <laughs> I was asking myself, how can I live if internet suddenly disappears? And it's difficult. It will be difficult because uh, I have some money in my PayPal account, which is accessible only by internet. I have some money in my Re Revolut account, which is accessible only if you have internet. So if the internet appear, uh, disappears, I will be, half of my money will disappear, <laughs> basically. And uh, also my revenue, if the internet disappears, then how can I make my courses? How can I make uh, streams or videos, educational videos to promote my courses or to promote myself? How? how? Yeah, the internet is, we are very dependable by the internet, by the way. Can you any specific pointers on how to identify the difference between a good and a bad head reference for practice? I will tell you very easy. This one is a bad. This one is also relatively bad, but this can do. It's it's a very huge forehead. I mean, it's very... This one is also a little bit uh, tricky. This one is kind of relatively good. So you have to be... Uh, just look for... For the... Look for the reference itself and... Look for the uncanny value valley or look for if it's good looking if it's not good looking of course it's not a good reference if it looks amazing it's a good reference do you have any free courses and if you don't can you recommend any free sculpting courses also is your name spelled nico or nico it's uh, with k and um i have a free course in my other channel this one is pchar life I have a channel named Speechar. It has 70 something thousand subscribers, so more than this one, a lot more. And in that channel, if you go to the playlists, there is a free course. 
you can find in the playlist. There are 38 videos in one of the playlists and it's creating a game character from scratch in Blender. It's, uh, I create the high poly completely. It's completely free in, uh, in my other channel. Should a character artist have knowledge of other 3D fields or should he learn other fields as well? If he wants, yes. If he doesn't want, no. Is it okay to ch charge more money based on where the client is? Uh, it's a yes, probably yes. For example, if your client is from United States, normally you charge them normal rate. If the client is from, uh, let's say your country, my country is Bulgaria, I usually don't charge that normal rate. I charge a little bit less probably, but it depends. Because sometimes when you're working with people from Bulgaria, it can be difficult. It can be hard. It can be problematic. So uh, these days I'm charging the normal rate also for those people. But yeah, it depends. Probably yes. Probably yes. It's not a good practice, of course, because um, if it's if it turns out that it, your uh, rate is different for different uh, countries, it's an, not good for you probably. It's not going to be looking good. So you have to be careful with that. I'm afraid I have to be a very high level to get paid. It Usually you have to be pretty high level, but not very high level. There are a lot of people who can sell themselves very well. They are in a decent level, not very high, but decent level, but they can uh, make very nice renders for their works. Their presentation is very nice. They can promote themselves very well in certain groups. So they're getting this kind of, uh, but usually the normal artists cannot do that. Normal artists, which are good artists, they are not good promoters. If you are a very good promoter, you usually will not be as good as an artist, but you will get more money probably because you promote yourself better. That's the problem. Who wants to pay for Im imperfect anatomy or topology? Yeah, it's uh, nobody wants to pay for that, of course. So you have to perfect yourself. Is there any good next part of the of video? So I will translate. Hello, Nico. Today I uh, bumped into your one of your old videos for a course in Arc Academy Online. My question is uh, whether there should be another future course in which you will be a teacher, which you'll be teaching. I'm sorry that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm uh, asking this question in Bulgarian. So, yes, there will be probably where we were thinking about a course, uh, for example, Blender beginner course, which will be online in real time, so people will uh, sign up for the course beforehand, and then they will come inside uh, either uh, Zoom or I don't know what program, and we will do the course there. There will be like uh, two hours, for example, I will scope, they, they can ask questions, and I will teach them, but it will be in English most likely. If we make this kind of course with Arc Academy, it probably will be in English. What is the meaning of high poly and low poly? Uh, that's a good question. That's a good question. High poly is when you're creating the model, when you're sculpting it. When you're sculpting the model, it can be like a couple of million polygons. It's the high poly. The low poly is then you retopologize and you make it fit for games or for movies or for uh, whatever. Mm, because it's difficult to rig and animate a model with a couple of million polygons and then put it in a game. It's usually don't you don't do it. Would you consider selling some anatomical anatomical figures 3D printed? There's a few that makes those for sculptures. I have to make them first uh, in order to sell them. Probably. Hello from Italy. Hello. Hello Bulgarian is Rasi. Hello bratushka. Zdravstvi bratushka. Ah, bratushki. How did you learn English? I learned English a little bit in school, a little bit from just reading and uh, watching movies and uh, hearing songs and that's mostly. Can you do the next live stream on body anatomy? That, that can be done but we'll see. Hello from Ethiopia and I will say guys goodbye. Uh, this stream I told you will be a little bit shorter because I need to prepare for uh, my trip with the family. So bye for now. See you in probably 10 days at least. <laughs>